Hey everyone, so I've been on tea for nine weeks and that kind of feels ridiculous and unbelievable and super exciting at the same time. Um, I actually had to figure out what day I'd started on tea based on my YouTube videos and then I had to ask Siri how many days it had been because I just lose track week to week and I know I've kind of said this on um, maybe it was last week's video or the week before saying that I had to work out how many weeks it was and it is just I don't have a very good sense of time anyway and um, so I kind of lost track post four weeks I was like I don't know how long it's been um, my voice is it feels really really weird today so my voice is is just if yeah I just it feels really strange and um, when I started talking this, this morning earlier I was like oh my god and yeah, oh, so if you can see my hair's really wet, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but I, I just took a shower, so that's why. Um, but I was like speaking earlier and I was just like, oh my God, on a WhatsApp message, how ridiculous my voice sounds sometimes during the day. Um, and it's, it's like 12 already, so it really shouldn't sound like this, but it does. So yeah, here I am nine weeks in and the, I guess the biggest change at the moment is how my voice feels and how it's sounding um, and just how low it feels. And I know that maybe it doesn't sound as low as it feels, but yeah, it definitely feels like it's getting even lower. And obviously that's a really, really weird experience for me. So I'm going to go through some of the different changes that have been happening, kind of look from beginning to now. Um, so one of the changes that you kind of talk about when you go on testosterone is hair and particularly like facial hair. That hasn't been a huge thing for me. I've noticed like a bit of hair like across my chin that I have to shave um, just because it's like not very much so it kind of is ridiculous um so i do have to deal with that um but i haven't noticed really any or much hair here like on the side of my face um beyond kind of what you get anyway which is very very fine hairs which most kind of women have so i haven't really noticed significant amounts of that um but i think that will probably take a while to come in and it also depends like i may never have that much you know obviously guys are different and you get plenty and plenty of cis men who really just don't have facial hair so I don't know how that's going to go or whether how much that's going to change um, and it's still really really early days as well um, so that's kind of it in terms of hair I think obviously you talk about your actual hair and your hairline can stop changing that takes ages to happen that hasn't I don't think that's really happened or not noticeably anyway that I can tell and obviously maybe I miss some tiny things not being able to see it but I, I don't think so particularly I don't think that's something that has a change and I was talking when I went to get my hair cut and that can and you know I was told that can take absolutely forever to change so that's not even something I really need to worry about at the moment anyway um muscle definition and muscular changes yeah I've noticed some things so I've definitely noticed I'm building a bit more muscle so particularly around here on my arms um I can actually feel my muscle definition and part of that's going to be testosterone and part of that's going to be the amount of sports I'm playing and that I'm doing a lot of exercise so those things have to work together you know you can't just take tea and suddenly build a load of muscle like that's not how this works um for anyone so it's that in combination but I've noticed it's happening fairly quickly um which is obviously kind of an exciting thing and it's something that I'm happy about just in general like that's a good thing for me I think um and something that I, I wanted to see so so I'm pleased with that kind of change same on my legs I've noticed particularly around my thighs um a lot more muscle definition versus maybe how it was before um, and I never really carried that much weight around my thighs. I think most of mine was around my hips and still is. So it wasn't like there were massive, massive changes, but I've definitely noticed some muscle definition. And again, a lot of that's gonna be exercise I'm doing. You know, you've got to do these things together. Like I said, it's not just, you start using testosterone and, and these things just magically happen. The voice is obviously a big one so I think my voice has changed quite a lot since I started tea um my voice has not broken let's be completely clear and honest about that but I do think it's changed and I'll probably 
wait a while before I make a video where I put clips together showing that change in progress. But um, yeah, I notice it when I go and look back at even the first video I put up on my channel, um, which I'll just drop a card for that here if you want to go and check that out. But um, I do notice a, a difference in the pitch of my voice and, and certainly how it feels is so different. Um, and I've kind of talked about that in, in other videos as well, you know, like just how low I can hum and it just gets lower and lower by the day, um, which is super weird. You know, it's just such a strange experience um, to kind of notice that happening in real time. And I think it's an incredible experience. You know, I think I just think human bodies are amazing. And um, whether that's a trans person who's transitioning or an athlete who's working out loads or someone who's pregnant and their body's changing while they're carrying a baby, you know, I think what our bodies can do and noticing them do these things, you know, our bodies are constantly doing these incredible things and we don't necessarily notice them because it's just our day-to-day -day life, you know, that, that our bodies are alive. Um, but when you go through an experience like this, a transitional experience, whether that is, you know, a, a training program or pregnancy or transition, I, I think you just really begin to be more aware of it. And it, it's, it's so incredible. I, I think it's absolutely amazing. Um, and I, I guess I feel kind of lucky that I'm so aware of it and that I'm getting to appreciate it for what's happening. And I think I think that we miss, you know, we talk about transition as this really negative thing. And by we, I don't mean necessarily us as trans people, but I do think the media, it's, oh, these are, you know, irreversible changes and it's terrible. And I, I you know, I do understand how for someone that could be awful if they come to a point where they decide that that wasn't something they wanted, you know, and I, I genuinely have a lot of, of sympathy for people who go through this and then realize that maybe that wasn't what they needed or what they wanted. But for those of us who it is, it is incredible. And I think just what bodies can do is, is amazing um, and super cool. So yeah, I, I will stop talking about that, but <laughs> that is something I've been kind of noticing a lot as well. Um, yeah, okay, back to my voice. It's just ridiculous. You know, it, 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 it breaks sometimes and I'll be talking and it cracks and I'm just like, what the hell? What the hell just happened here? I was. Um, I was at Gold Ball last weekend and I, I said something and my voice just like full on cracked and I was like, oh my god, that's so embarrassing. Oh, I, I think it just did it. But it, it just does it and I'm like, I don't know how it's doing this. Why? Why is it doing this to me? Um, but it's really funny and obviously like super exciting as well. Um, apologies for my super loud computer. It just is loud. There's not a lot I can do about that. Um, next physical change, I would say, um, hunger and things. Yeah, so they say when you go on tea, you can get really hungry. It's kind of come in waves. I also started ADHD meds while I was on tea, and that kind of has suppressed some of my hunger. So I think it's been really inconsistent. Um, like, it's lunchtime, and I actually haven't eaten anything today. Um, and I feel a bit hungry, and I'll go and eat something after making this. But, um, some days I'm absolutely starving and other days I'm just like, eh, I'm not that bothered. So, yeah, I, I don't know if that's been such a big thing for me. Um, it was and, it, and then it wasn't. So, I, and it's hard to pick it out, you know, what, what's, um, what's been suppressed by, by my meds and what's just, you know, me not being that hungry in general. Um, but that is one, you know, that is one that a lot of trans people report, a lot of trans men report um, when you go on testosterone. And for sure, I know it's definitely a thing. Um, mood changes, let's talk about the mood changes. I don't know. So there's this thing of like, apparently you can be um, increased like anger in things, I guess. I have not found that. I feel so chill about everything. Um, I feel really happy. And I think there is that reported as well that your anxiety can go down. And I, I don't know what I'd say about that. So I can definitely be a reasonably anxious person um, and that hasn't changed. I think if you're anxious about certain things, you're anxious about certain things, that's not going to go away. You know, transitioning doesn't fix everything because we're complicated people and um, some of the baggage we carry around has nothing to do with us being trans. So I wouldn't say my anxiety has gone away. What I would say is in general, I feel a lot happier because I feel like... I'm moving towards something that I actually want and that I actually feel really comfortable and good about. Um, so I guess I would say like general feeling and general well-being has been quite a bit better. Okay, so let's talk about the more private or NSFW changes. So I know sometimes, I don't know if my family watch these actually. 
I don't know, in case you do, if you don't want to know about some of this, don't watch it. Obviously, I'm putting this out on the internet, so I'm fine with people watching it if they want to. But basically, like, take responsibility. If you don't actually want to know this stuff, then stop. Um, so the first one is my period. My period has stopped, and I was reading that that can happen between two and six months. I just haven't had a period since starting on testosterone. My periods could be kind of irregular anyway, so I wasn't particularly surprised by this. Um, that, they, that they'd that they gone. I was kind of happy, to be honest, you know, I mean, that's nice. I did get some cramps in my first month when my period should have been. I felt a bit sick and I just didn't feel great. Basically, I felt like I was coming on my period, but then I didn't. So um, that just has gone. I mean, that's not to say I will never have another one. You know, I, I don't know, bodies are weird, right? So who knows if they've gone forever or if maybe I'll get a surprise one next month, like, oh, you know, Heading into three months, like, here you go. It wouldn't even surprise me. But but I haven't had one since starting. So that, that has completely gone. Um, actual changes to my appearance, like, in terms of my genital appearance, yes, there have been changes. So um, one thing that happens when you go on testosterone is clitoral growth. You don't grow a penis. Like, let's be completely honest. Trans guys aren't out here just growing their own penises. That's not, that's not going to happen. Um, what does happen is... The anatomy you've got changes a bit so um there will be growth down there and there will be atrophy in other areas down there and i've noticed some of that you know it's not um it's not going to be like oh my god wow like i woke up this morning and it was all different it's not like that at all but yeah there are some changes which you know are obviously expected but kind of weird when you see it in progress it's like huh okay cool um <laughs> sex drive yeah that's changed um a noticeable increase which apparently is to be expected so it's fine it's not like unmanageable it's just like oh okay right I'm thinking about this again cool I just feel a bit like I did when I was a teenager to be honest because let's be real girls think about sex like this isn't just a man thing girls think about sex girls masturbate girls are interested in sex like this idea that only men think about sex and only men masturbate is completely false so it's not like i'd never been through periods of time when my sex drive was high um when i identified as a girl and when i was you know not on testosterone so it, it is what it is like it's fine um but yeah i mean that that i would say uh the main things that are happening um not going to go into too much detail, I don't think it's really necessary, but I did want to talk about it because I know people will say, oh, but this is so personal, why are you putting this personal stuff? But I think it's something that um, is good to hear from another trans person if you are transitioning. You know, it's very reassuring to hear this stuff. I know it was reassuring when I heard this stuff from other trans guys online, and I think if someone stumbled across my content, I'd like them to um, kind of know what they might expect to happen to them but also recognizing that our bodies are different and also if, if you're going through this to not feel like alone in it or not feel like oh I, you know this is I, I wasn't sure what would happen um so this stuff is all completely normal and to be expected so those are my changes um yeah it's just strange I mean the whole thing is like super fun and exciting um I, I'm having a great time I mean I, I'm not because I'm getting spots, like I'm noticing spots on my face and I'm not so happy about that. Like that's not a great thing. Like transition without acne would be incredible. Like that would be just 100%, yeah, 10 out of 10, I would take that. Um, but yeah, overall, I mean, I'm, I'm really happy. I'm, I'm feeling good about it. And I think um, things are happening kind of how I want them to. It's not, it is happening quickly, but also, you know, a lot of this stuff would take time. So body fat redistribution might not start for a while my kind of muscle strength increase although i've noticed some changes in my muscles you know that's i'm not going to notice massive amounts until like six months in because you don't you don't when you're building muscle it takes time anyway so this is a long process and one which i just want to document and be as honest as i can about um whilst also maintaining privacy in in some ways and i i hope i'm doing that you know i'm, I'm sharing what i feel comfortable with at the end of the day i think feel like my body is just a body right um would I want pictures of, of personal parts of my body on the internet? No, absolutely not. Like that's very different to to talking about it. And I think, um, you know, it, it's just about sharing what I can and hopefully um, encouraging people who maybe don't know so much about trans people to feel comfortable and to ask questions and 
to not be scared you know i don't think i don't think we're a threat we're, we're not here to scare you and we're not here to to make things difficult for anyone else we're just kind of doing our thing and if i can be as honest about that as i can and hopefully um reassure people then then yeah that's something i want to do